coming good afternoon sir good afternoon sir good afternoon ma'am good afternoon ji kya sir please have a seat thank you sir okay so uh, your full name is jigya sir kukshal jigya sir kukshal okay jigya sir first of all congratulations on qualifying the written examination of rmc thank you sir so how are you feeling sir i am feeling good you are feeling good yes sir okay so you have passed your one hurdle so the next is interview so are you prepared for it yes sir okay so are you nervous for the interview yes sir a little bit nervous but also excited so you are also excited okay <clears throat> so uh, can you tell me something about yourself my name is jigyasa kukshal i belong to dehradun uttarakhand as far as my highly highest qualifications are concerned i study in class 8 in the tcg public school kodwar my family consists of four members including me my father's name is mr deepak kumar he is an advocate my mother's name is mrs richa she is an independent business consultant and my younger brother's name is master tejas kukshar he is currently studying in class 7th and is also preparing for rmc my hobby is to read novels and self improvement books and my aim is to become an army officer and serve the nation okay very good so uh, as your name is jigyasa okay so i know the meaning is quite easy but how you relate your personality with your name sir i always have that voraciousness in me to know about things around me and that is how i relate my name with me okay do you like your name yes sir don't you feel it's it's an old fashioned name yes sir it is an old fashioned name and that is why i like it the most because uh, it relates me to my cultural to my culture and uh, um, the reserve the, the culture and heritage okay so if you want if you get a chance to change it suppose so which new name you want to keep and why sir i don't think i will uh, change it because uh, this name relates to my personality so much and it holds an importance in my heart suppose it's mandatory to change your name um sir i haven't given a thought on that okay so uh, you belong to dehradun yes sir can you describe dehradun in a few lines sir so dehradun lies at the foothills of shivalik it is about 400 to 450 meters above from the sea level dehradun is famous for its religious and cultural uh, places and it is also very beneficial for medicinal purposes very famous for medicinal purposes anything else which you have left out sir there are also uh, very famous uh, like very important army establishments in dehradun uh, uh, the first one is uh, ima in the military academy what is the indian military academy Sir, Indian Military Academy is an institute where students, when they pass, when they clear their ND exam, then they go there to prepare for. Then they go there and they are known as cadets there. Why do they go there? They prepare for which for any examination they go there? And uh, no, sir, when they pass out, they are they uh, they are known as lieutenant. Yes, but what they do there basically in that academy? Sir, in that academy, they are given. um both uh, physical and mental preparations for the upcoming that they are going to serve the nation so for that okay have you heard of ot yes sir what is the difference between im and ot uh, sir i think the first difference that i know is that in ot girls are also allowed and uh, i in im girls are not yet allowed okay Why girls are not allowed in IIM? Any specific reason? Sir, I don't know about it. Okay. Can you tell me uh, some of the places of Dehradun which you like the most, and with specific reasons also why do you like the place? Yes, sir. The first one would be the Prakasheshwar Temple in Masuri Road. Sir, I like that place the most because it is about a uh, one thousand years old. 
and sir in that temple i get some different vibes and i feel myself more spiritually connected to god the second place would be the robbers cave in that place in earlier times robbers uh, they used to rob and they used to hide their stuff there so i really like that place because there is a waterfall in there and uh, that is why i i like nature i'm a nature lover so that is why i like that place third place would be the malsi deer park which is in Masu, uh, which is in rajpur road so i like that place because we can see many animals there and we can find their species so we got we get to know more about them and sir there is also one more temple known as tapkeshwar mahadev that temple is known as the residence of uh, dronacharya guru ji and it is also uh, like very old uh, and sir that temple i like it because that temple is also uh, one thing that i know about that temple is it is made up of limestone so um, it always water keeps coming from the above it is like a cave and water it keeps coming from the above so uh, in that temple it is really cool inside and i also like that temple because it is dedicated to lord shiva the fourth place uh, would be fri forest research institute when i i have not uh, like visited fri really in depth but uh, according to me uh, as much as i have i have visited fri what i have seen is there is a lot of greenery many plants and many trees also there are museums for people who like to research about things so i also visited one museum but i do not remember it quite correctly so these are some places that i Out of these, which one is your favorite? Sir, my favorite is the Prakashishwar Temple in Masuri. Prakash. Prakashishwar. 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 Yes, sir. What does it mean, Prakashishwar? Sir, it is dedicated to Lord Shiva, so uh, I think it is the name of Lord Shiva. But what does it mean? The meaning of the word. Sir, Prakash means light. So uh, maybe it's uh, they are uh, because Lord Shiva is known to guide their devotees. So I think in that way. Okay. In the same way, Tapkeshwar is also related to Lord Shiva. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of Tapkeshwar? Sir, that uh, Tapkeshwar temple is named uh, as Tapkeshwar because I already told you that water it comes, it keeps dropping from the above. So that is why. अच्छा पानी टपकता है तो Tapkeshwar. Yes, Tapkeshwar. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. So, as you have mentioned that you are in eighth class right now. Yes, sir. In TCG School, Kurdwar. Yes, sir. TCG, what is, what is its full form? Sir, its full form is uh, Trivendra Chandra Gintiar, and uh, uh, it is dedicated to the uh, the chairman's brother. So the school's name is dedicated to uh, the chairman's brother. Okay. How the school? How describe your school in five lines? Sir, my school it focuses. on both physical and mental uh, mental growth of children it has a big infrastructure and the academic values that they gave us as well as the morals and ethics they are also very good so uh, like in a nutshell i really like my school okay anything which you don't like in your school and which you want to change which you feel that it, sh- it should be changed in your school sir i think there should be more uh, grounds for sports as there is only one ground which is the basketball court and there are no badminton courts or anything else so i think that thing i would like to change okay so are you involved in some physical activity like badminton basketball sir i have recently started participating in basketball okay recently yes sir before that you were not involved in the physical activities sir before that i used to do some concentration exercises and pt exercises in my home only okay why basketball why not other games sir basket in basketball when i play it i get to shout a lot and uh, i think it also helps to increase my height and that is the reason height is the main reason i think so yes sir because you can shout in any of the games no? yes sir height is the main so have you got any benefited by playing basketball yes sir i think my height has increased a bit but like not because i don't play too much what is your height sir it is 155 cm in feet how much sir it is 5 feet 5 feet 
five feet. One inch. One inches. Okay. So, um, who is the best teacher? Sir, um, my best teacher that I like is the chairman of the school, uh, Mrs. Lakshmi Gildiyal, because sir, she encourages to participate more in sports activities and also when I did good in academics, she used to encourage me and support me. So that is. But you told me there are less grounds, not much sports activity. Yes, sir. Because before then I was not, uh, I did not participate more in sports, not even in basketball. So she was the only one who encouraged me. Okay. As you mentioned that you belong to Dehradun and your school is in Kordwar. Yes, sir. So I'm very confused that you live in Dehradun. So how you attend your schools and all? Sir, I do not attend my school on regular basis, but I go there to give my examinations and uh, also some days I go there to uh, take regular teachings um, because I take acad I take a coaching from Dehradun itself from Defense uh, Defense Officers Academy for RINC. Okay. So you do take you have taken coaching for this written examination. Yes, sir. From Dehradun. Yes, sir. You mentioned the name of the coaching center also. What is its name? Defense Officers Academy. Okay, Defense Officers Academy. So why you why you have chosen Defense Officers Academies? There are other academies also. There might be some other academies. Why Defense Officers Academy? Sir, at the time when my basics were very uh, like very weak. And I was searching for academies online, so I was uh, using the platform of YouTube, and I used to see lives of other academies as well as Defence Officers Academy. So I was not able to understand anything, but then I uh, watched the live of Defence Officers Academy, and I watched maths, which was very weak at that time. But I was able to understand each and every concept that sir used to that sir told. So that is why I chose this academy. Okay, so YouTube was your difference. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what was your experience in the academy? Sir, my experience was good. The um, the faculties there, they used to focus on both even personality development, mental health, and physical health too. Okay. So, uh, as <coughs> you have mentioned, your father, he is an advocate. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell me the job profile of your father? What is the function of your father, basically? Sir, my father, uh, he takes cases of, uh, he takes criminal cases and land disputes. So, uh, what is, his job is to collect documents and uh, know about uh, other things required to help him win the case. Okay. So, have you, do you also have some interest in advocacy, in law? No, sir, not right now. Not right now. Okay. Uh, you have also mentioned that your mother, she is a business consultant. Yes, sir. What kind of consult consultancy she gives specifically to the startups? So she gives them she gives them some courses that would help the startups uh, in growing. For example, what kind of, what kind of courses? Sir, uh, the f the only one that I remember is uh, how uh, the which startups they can get their business to automation. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, to whom you are very close in in your family, sir, among I'm, all the family members. And sir, my mother. Your mother. Yes. Do you have any differences with your father? No, sir. When did the last time your parents scold you and why? Sir, it was in um, in Jan no last time my parents scolded me on Diwali only. My mother scolded me because uh, I was uh, firing some crackers and that she did not like. Like she thought that I would get hurt from them. Okay. So, so your mother is very strict, I think. So. Not strict, sir. She is just uh, too protective. You have a younger brother also? Yes, sir. His name is Tejasp. Yes, sir. Okay, he also wants to join RMC as you have mentioned. Yes, sir. So, uh, how you are guiding your younger brother for qualifying the written examination? Sir, I am telling him all the concepts of maths that he could, cannot get. 
also i gave him a writing section like from time to time so that he can improve his writing skills okay very good do you know what is the meaning of adversity brings out the best in man yes sir sir uh, the phrase adversity brings out the best in man it means that uh, bad conditions or conditions that we feel like are tough for us they help us to learn the most in our life okay. time and tide waits for man yes sir this phrase means that whatever uh, opportunities that we get we should work hard and try to achieve them at that time only because this uh, the time that is going right now it is never going to come back again okay you have mentioned uh, that you want to join army yes sir uh, i'm i'm a little bit confused as you have mentioned that your father is an advocate and your mother is a business consultant so how you have got interest in army how you have got exposed to the environment of army so my father only he uh, encouraged me to join army and he asked me to just uh, look up for rimc then i looked up for rimc on the net and i got interested in ra uh, in R- joining army mm. also said no i go no one in my f- uh, family they have ever gone into army so i want to try a new field new and unique field also growing up in dehradun i have seen nothing but army establishments and army persons around me like in ima and ghadi cant road i've seen many army persons so that is where from the interest came from so uh, can you tell me the various ranks of indian army from bottom to top yes sir the first one is lieutenant captain then major lieutenant colonel colonel brigadier um, major general lieutenant general and general okay uh can you uh, name the any lady who has reached to the highest rank in army so you know i about it? no sir i don't know about it but i'll definitely read on it after the interview okay um what do you feel do you know that any woman has got the highest rank of general in army till now sir i have not heard of it okay You've not heard of it. Yes, sir. But if you want to guess, what do you feel according to you? Is there any woman who was the general of army, yeah, who was the chief of army staff? Sir, I don't think till now because I haven't heard it anywhere. Okay. Uh, what are your hobbies? Sir, my hobby is to read novels and self improvement books. Self improvement books. What kind of self improvement books? Yes. Uh, sir i am reading uh, the atomic habits by james clear sir atomic habits can you give me just the gist of this particular book atomic habits yes sir the book talks about uh, how we can cha- bring change in tiny habits that we that we do from day to day life and uh, from that how our whole curriculum can be improved so have you done have you implemented the concept of this book in your life also Yes, sir. Have you changed your habits also? Yes, sir. Can you can you give the example? Sir, earlier whenever I used to uh, do something and I got nervous, I used to bite my nails. But uh, in the book, it has also given an example of the author's friend. He used to bite his nails, and then the author uh, tell told him to just stop for a while and apply some nail paint or something on his nails so that his nails uh, started looking good, and then the author's friend himself did not want to bite it so i also stopped for a while and let my nails grow and when they grew i really liked them and from then i stopped the biting them. okay okay my well, last question from my side suppose if you will not get selected in rimc what will be your next step so i will try for rms in sanic school then we will try for rms yes, so this sir. is your last attempt for rmc you want to say No sir, there is also one more attempt, the December upcoming December attempt. So you will not try for that. Yes sir, I will definitely try for that. Okay, so after that, if suppose you yes. will not get qualified, then you will go for RMS. Yes sir. So according to you, which school is better, Senic schools, RMS or RIMC, and why? Sir, according to me, RIMC is the best school. 
सर बिकॉज इन आर आई सी दे फोकस ऑन बोथ फिजिकल एंड मेंटल हेल्थ ऑफ अ चाइल्ड एंड दे इनकलकेट सम मॉरल्स एंड एथिक्स दैट आई डोंट थिंक एनी अदर स्कूल कैन इनकलकेट इन अ चाइल्ड so you want to say that rms or select schools they don't focus on in the overall development of a student no sir they definitely do focus but not as good as rms okay so according to you, rms is the best yes sir okay that's all from my side over to ankita ma'am okay so jigyasa you mentioned that your father is an advocate right yes, sir. now let us assume that you are a lawyer yes, right sir. so you are a lawyer and you find uh, you find out that one of your clients is guilty of the crime they have been accused of what will you do then ma'am as an advocate or a lawyer our first duty is to uh, win the case so i will definitely try to win the case if the uh, crime that he has committed is not too big what if that uh, is a very very serious crime um, ma'am then i'll tell him to find some uh, another lawyer or uh, Yes, I'll t- find him to. You just yeah. ask him to find some other lawyer. Yes, ma'am. Anything else that you would like to do? Any strict action that you'll take? Ma'am, I'll take the uh, strict action that I could at that time because I'm not aware of the actions that could be taken right now. Okay. Uh, suppose you have proofs. Obviously, you will have some proof, right? Yes, ma'am. That is why you will be able to know that yes, he is actually guilty of the crime. What will you do then? Ma'am, then I'll uh, show the proof in the court uh, as the advocate of the other party. Okay. Uh, and then I show the proofs, and I would let the innocent one win. Okay. Okay. So uh, now let us give you some other situation. Yes, ma'am. ठीक है. Uh, suppose you were stuck in a lift with a dark-colored tall man, and he is carrying a gun with him. What will you do? Then I'll stay calm, and I'll uh, try to open the lift if it could, and I'll wait for the uh, uh, outsiders to come and rescue us. outsiders to come and rescue you rescue us both of us okay fine okay so uh, you mentioned that uh, you are doing your schooling from tcg public school kordwar yes ma'am can you tell me something about kordwar yes ma'am kordwar is famous for its uh, historical and um, also religious uh, purposes Like there is a place in Kord near Kordwar. It is about four kilometers from Kordwar, I think. It is known as Kanwa Nagri. So in earlier times, uh, Rishi Vishwamitra, it is known. It is written in some Hindu scripts that uh, uh, Lord Indra he wanted to disturb Rishi Vishwamitra's uh, meditation. So he sent a beautiful damsel known as Menka to disturb his meditation, and uh, uh, Menka was successful in disturbing the meditation. and when they united they made a child so as menka's purpose was fulfilled she had to go back to her heavenly abode so what she did was she left the child at uh, the banks of a river i do not quite uh, at the banks of the ko river and uh, uh, rishi kanwa found the child he took her to his ashram and he later named her as shakuntala and uh, it is also known as rishi in rishi kanwa mit in rishi kanwa's ashram 10000 pupils they used to get education there okay so you mentioned that uh, that ashram is on the banks of ko river yes ma'am are you sure it is on the banks of ko river not on the banks of ko river it is uh, near ko near river. near ko river yes ma'am uh, are you sure on that ma'am i think so because uh, rishi Vish- uh, rishi kanwa he uh, took that child from the banks of ko river only so i think Okay. Anything else that is important, that is significant? Yes, ma'am. In Kordwar, uh, it is also famous for its sweet dishes like uh, bal mithai and singori. Okay. So uh, good to know about that. Apart from that, uh, you also mentioned that you read uh, self improvement books. Yes, ma'am. I think you you are very young to read some kind of self improvement books. Why do you read them? Ma'am, I just like to uh, know about. things that i like there are um, in there are insecure there are bad habits of everyone so i just want to improve mine by reading those books so uh, only just to improve your bad habits yes ma'am you what are those bad habits that you wish that you would like to improve on ma'am first one would be that i am not too confident in communicating with some um, random people like whom i don't know very closely so first one i would like to uh, improve on that 
and I also have more bad habits like that. So till now the books that you've read, uh, did they help in improving them? Yes sir, I have not read many chapters till now because it, uh, I, have only, uh, I have started reading recently. So the only habit that I have improved till now would be uh, not to procrastinate and uh, nail biting one. Nail biting one. Yes. Okay. And uh, you wish to become an Indian Army officer? Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me that where will you be getting trained if you wish to join Indian Army as an officer? Ma'am, I think in uh, OTA only. Where is this OTA? Sorry, ma'am, I don't know. Uh, ma'am, OTA is in Chennai. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. 100%? Yes, ma'am. And what is OTA? What is the uh, full form of OTA? Officers Training Academy. Is there any other OTA that we have? I'm, I'm not too sure about this. Fine. Uh, you were born in Crackers, yes. Rally, and that is why you got scolded as well. Right? So, can you tell me what is composition of that smoke? What are the compounds or the elements that are present in that smoke? No, ma'am. Or don't some know. gases? I don't know, ma'am. Okay. And uh, do you know that that smoke that comes uh, from the burst, uh, bursting crackers that is harmful for our environment? Yes, ma'am. Right? Still, you are bursting those crackers. Why so? Ma'am, because I like to like burn those crackers. I like to see the sparkles and everything. And I don't, I do not do it like on a very big scale. I just burn like one or two crackers. Uh, so, if uh, many individuals like India is a country of one point four billion people, if all those will think the same. What will happen then to the environment? Um, the environment will get harmed, I think. So, what do you think? At an individual level, what we can do to stop that or to save our environment? Ma'am, I think the companies, they should stop selling it so that no one would uh, like buy it. Because everyone wants to burn crackers, it is their wish. Okay, so just the it is on the companies only when they no, no, the stop. individuals they also should take the initiative themselves. But uh, for children, I think they they will not understand. Like I also have some fascination with burning crackers. So if the crackers will be banned, so I think no one. Will. So is it just crackers that are responsible for uh, environment? Uh, sorry, degradation of environment. No, ma'am. There are also other factors like. Um, throwing garbages on roads and smoke that comes from factories and vehicles and um and ma'am also um, i think these ones are okay okay so you said smoke that comes from fact, uh, factories and industries what can we do to make these uh, uh, i would say that industries or companies follow some strict uh, rules so that they are able to be more environment friendly ma'am i think they should um, they should put a filter they should have filtered chimney so that the smoke that comes is not too harmful for the environment no i don't know what is that process uh, known as when you put that filter no ma'am I, I cannot recall it right now okay so uh, you told that uh, you took uh, coaching from Dehradun to prepare for uh, RIMC written examination. Yes, and you got to know about that through YouTube. Yes, ma'am. Right. So, uh, can you tell me what other, uh, what in how many other ways you use technology? Yes, ma'am. I use technology to uh, fulfill my curiosity, that uh, my curiousness that I get and to ask doubts that uh, I am not able to ask to the teachers. Okay, uh, so you mean also, to say that uh, your teachers are unapproachable? No, ma'am. Like I am a bit, I am a bit hesitant sometimes, and uh, also I ask so many doubt. I do not ask like so many doubts, but I mean I do have. I cannot remember the doubts uh, all at once. So when I get at home and I have some doubts left, so I can check on uh, those. Uh, so if you are uh, taking uh, doubts from your uh, these technologies and all, so why are you taking coaching? You could have prepared on your own. Ma'am, for because of the guidance that those teachers give me. So what what kind of guidance is there? They are not able to, if you are not even presenting your doubts. Ma'am, I I do ask them doubts and I do ask them really frequently. But some doubts that I cannot remember at that time. Uh, when I come home, then I clear that. Okay. 
Uh, you mentioned that you went to a temple that is Takeshwar uh, temple in Dehradun and that the cave is made of limestone. What is composition of limestone? Um, calcium carbonate. Can you tell me what is its chemical formula? No ma'am, I don't know. Okay. You are a nature lover? Yes sir. What, uh, what are those activities that you do to spend time with nature apart from visiting places? Ma'am, I plant trees. I have planted trees in my like plants in my house. So I water them daily. It is like uh, my morning routine. And also in the evening when I come from the academy, then then at that time also. And uh, other than that, I go to parks near me and other places that I can see greenery. Okay. Are you have any best friend? Yes, ma'am. What is the name of your friend? Ma'am Shagun Mangai. Shagun Mangai. Okay, so let us assume that she uh, you found out that your best friend has been spreading rumors about you. What will be your uh, your reaction then? Ma'am, first of all, I don't think she would do something like that. But even if she does, then I think she, uh, like she must be doing it in a funny way. So I would just approach her first and I would ask her about that. What if those rumors are very serious? And then I would tell her to stop uh, spreading them. We just tell her and she'll stop. Yes. Anything else? No, ma'am. Any strict action that you should be taking? No, ma'am. What I about just... the rumors that have already spreaded? Ma'am, I don't care about other people. I just uh, want to get my personal satisfaction. Okay, fine. So, can you tell me some important uh, national news? Ma'am, uh, the ongoing elections in Jammu and Kashmir um, would be the first national news. Can I'm, you tell that thing in detail? Jammu and Kashmir I election. do not know it in depth. I just know that there are elections going on in Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. Also, uh, in the Paralympics, India has... Um, uh, it, it started from August and it uh, remained till September month. So, India has got 60 medals in total. And India has done an excellent uh, job in that Paralympics. Can you mention some names? Of players who won medals in Paralympic? Um, Ma'am, uh, as much as I remember, uh, it's Sheetal, Sheetal Devi. She belongs to which sport? Ma'am, uh, the shooting. Shooting? Yes, ma'am. Are you sure she is from shooting? Ma'am, I am not too sure. Not too sure. Not too sure. Okay. Um, you mentioned Jammu and Kashmir. Do you think Jammu and Kashmir is important for India? Yes, ma'am. Why? Um, because it is a state of India, it comes under India and that is why. Apart from that? Apart from that, ma'am, uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Why, why this particular state? Why these elections were so important for us? Ma'am, because in Jammu and Kashmir, there are uh, conflicts going on with Pakistan and India regarding Jammu and Kashmir because Pakistan wants to state Jammu and Kashmir as its own territory. So I think that is why the elections are really important for us. So you mean that just because uh, we have disputes with Pakistan, so these elections are important? No ma'am, uh, these elections are also important because Jammu and Kashmir is our own territory and uh, uh, like they are now safe and protected. Safe and protected. Yes, uh, do you know what is Operation Sarva Shakti? No ma'am, I don't. Okay. It, uh, do you think that people of Jammu and Kashmir are safe and protected when we have uh, he, we have been hearing so many news of terrorist attacks often in Jammu and Kashmir? Ma'am, I think the situations are getting better day by day. Are you sure? Ma'am, I think they are get, they will eventually get better. But for now, uh, these people, I don't think they are too safe. But uh, at the Indian government are uh, putting some efforts. Uh, have you heard of Article 370? Yes, ma'am. What is it? Ma'am, uh, the article 370, it uh, uh, told that Jammu and Kashmir, uh, the special status that Jammu and Kashmir have, it will be taken away from Jammu and Kashmir and Jammu and Kashmir will be operated like the usual uh, places in India. So, you're saying that article 370 was responsible for uh, eradication of special status Yes, ma'am. to Jammu and Kashmir? Some special... Uh, policies or some special things that were given to Jammu and Kashmir. What were those special things and special policies? 
Now I think Jammu and Kashmir they conducted their elections in some different way. It had its own constitution. Yes, ma'am. It had its own constitution. So that. Okay. So have you seen Indian map? Yes, ma'am. Political map of India. So uh, you feel that the entire territory that is shown in political map of India that is uh, under the sovereignty of Indian government. Mm, ma'am, I do think that, but also. Uh, in the world map, sometimes China and Pakistan they show our territories as their own. What are those territories? Um, ma'am, Pakistan shows the uh, Gilgit Bal uh, the Gilgit Baltistan region. Is there any specific name given to this region? Yes, ma'am. Pakistan occupied Kashmir. Okay, and uh, what is the what are those territories that are shown by China? By China, I think the I am not too sure now about. That. Okay, uh, so is it or, uh, only at the northern front that we have disputes with uh, Pakistan and China? Ma'am, I have no idea. Like I'm not too much aware about that. Okay, fine. So good to know about all that you told me. Now I would like to hand over my to Deepak sir. Okay, uh, Jigyasa, can you please tell me the literal meaning of your name? Sir, my name means curiosity. Curiosity. So I am very curious that uh, what is the purpose of playing a sport? Why we play a sport? So playing a sport is like a stress buster for um, people. Mm -hmm. Like when we play sports, we live in the reality. We do not think about the past or future. We just play sport. Also, it improves our health and our um, mental stability too. Very good. Um, according to you, I think uh, you are very uh, keen. In spirituality and nature, these both things you have mentioned till now. Are there any important environmental places around Dehradun or designated areas you know about? Related to environment. Related to environment or the environmental protection. Are there any areas designated around Dehradun? Yes, sir. Um, I think the FRI is also protected, like the plants and trees that they are, they cannot be cut. Mm -hmm. And sir, so there are also some more areas like that, but I do not remember them. Right Where we can protect the wildlife and the forest areas. Are there any areas around yeah, there? Yes, sir, there is a Rajaji National Park. Rajaji National Park. It surrounds how many districts of Uttarakhand? Um, okay. Can you tell me what is the difference between a national park and a biosphere reserve? So I think in uh, national parks, some only some species of an animal is uh, protected, mm -hmm. and in biosphere reserve, all the animals. All the animals. So according to national park, are dedicated to a specific species. In biosphere reserve is overall wildlife protection. Okay. You belong to Dehradun, yes, and can you tell me why this name is associated? With, why Dehradun is a name given to that place sir dehradun it was given because of uh, it was given as gateway of doon valley doon valley yes sir is there any particular meaning associated with the word doon yes sir there is a meaning but i am not i cannot recall it right now okay you cannot recall it right now there are some places you mentioned and in those place, places uh, you find very uh, spirituality and connecting with God, these things you have mentioned. What is the definition of spirituality according to you? What is spirituality? Sir, according to me, whenever I feel more calm and composed and patient mm -hmm. and I feel like uh, there is something that supports me, that is spirituality. That, that is spirituality according to According you. to me. Can you tell me the difference between culture and heritage? Sir, culture is uh, the religion or the, uh, yes sir, the religion or specific, culture is like of any specific place or committee. Mm -hmm. And sir, by heritage we mean very uh, ancient things that are being kept and preserved. Is there any difference between culture and religion? Yes sir, there is a difference between culture and religion. Mm -hmm. uh, because sir, Culture is uh, related to some areas, like uh, people of different areas have different type of cultures, but they could be of the what same is culture, religion. Then? 
पीपल ऑफ डिफरेंट एरिया हैव डिफरेंट कल्चर वट इज कल्चर सर कल्चर आईज कल्चर इज लाइक डिफरेंट ट्रेडिशन दैट दे फॉलो देयर एंड डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस दैट दे स्पीक दैट इज कल्चर एंड डिफरेंट फूड यस सर कंज्यूम डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लोदिंग दे वेयर हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ दिस टर्म ग्लोबल वार्मिंग यस सर वट इज ग्लोबल वार्मिंग सर ग्लोबल वार्मिंग इज द इंक्रीज ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इन आर एनवायरमेंट and how the carbon dioxide got increased in our environment sir it is because of the pollution that is spreading now that is because of the pollution is planting trees is a solution for a problem that is global warming sir planting trees is definitely a solution for uh, global warming for improving global warming but sir also we should um, not uh, we should start uh, like saving trees that are all that are already being planted so we should stop deforestation too hmm. so planting trees can be uh, one of the solutions for global warming yes sir bursting fire crackers is also a solution for global warming no sir is is it has any role related to global warming yes sir it uh, it uh, it uh, leads to Mm-hmm. like making the situation more worse so on one hand planting trees gives the solution on the other hand bursting fire crackers elevated the problem and you are doing the both things okay you are also interested in reading self help books and you have mentioned one book that is atomic habits till now i do know about habits what is atomic habits sir atomic means very tiny changes or very small habits like on a very small level so are there any bad habits you have that you want to change tell me any four or five habits which you consider as not good for you sir i think uh, i am not able to mug up things really easily so is it important to mug up things sir not to it is not important to mug up things but it is definitely required sometimes so it is important then huh? yes sir if it is required sometimes then it is important any other habit sir any other habit would be uh, socializing more mm, that you don't socialize more often yes sir and it is important no. apart from atomic habits have you read any other self help book no sir okay mm your father is advocate you mentioned and you mentioned some cases he handles criminal matters as well as land dispute matters what is the difference between a civil matter and a criminal matter are there any differences between these two cases sir i think uh, criminal matters would be where a crime has been committed and civil matters would be like a dispute between people which can be solved easily so suppose there is a land dispute between two brothers there is no crime committed but if one brother kills the other because of that land dispute then the crime is committed so in that case it is considered as criminal case or a civil case because of the land dispute the brother killed the other one so what type of case it is criminal or civil sir i think criminal i don't know sir Oh, you think criminal, but you don't know. And you have mentioned that your mother is a business consultant. Mm, by explaining uh, the nature of her job, you are saying that she helps startup getting automation. What is this automation? So, like uh, some business, uh, uh, the people that they, the people who the person who has started the business, he has no job. to do in that business all of his business is automated like it can work without him he can go to achieve some more learning somewhere else and his big business will keep working that is automation so automation can be done with the help of more people who can sir, do the work or is it anything other than that sir more people are i don't think it is more important but the strategies definitely is it the use of technology and the softwares so that the task can be completed easily 
is that automation or automation means employing more and more people who can do your work no, sir. and you will rest and acquire some other skills no sir uh, what I is don't the think... more accurate definition according to you sir uh, the use of technology the use of technology and you also use your in your capacity for the studying purposes you use technology nowadays there is a term called ai is very prevalent what do you understand by that term ai sir ai means um, i'm not able to recall the full form right now okay i will help you artificial intelligence uh, yes sir artificial hmm. intelligence hmm. by that sir uh, ai is really helpful for students as well as teachers also sir because How? sir because we can get information uh, all on the topic and also related to the topic that would help us. that we can get from the internet why this artificial intelligence term is used so because uh, there we can ask ai to like we can ask any question mm -hmm. which is um, like which the ai knows and she would uh, they would give like a better example can we relate artificial intelligence with automation sir is there any close link between these two terms sir i don't have any okay do you know how many high courts are there in our country how many high courts in india sir i know about nainital high court mm, that is the high court of uh, uttarakhand uttarakhand you belong to uttarakhand yes sir what is the capital of uttarakhand capital of uttarakhand dehradun and dehradun is the winter capital mm -hmm. and garsen is the summer capital why we require two capitals for one state sir i think uh, the garrison is being made the summer capital so that uh, we could uh, the government could approach the hilly areas and development could happen there also so if this is the intention then we should have a full time capital in a hilly area so that we can develop the hilly areas why we need one more capital in dehradun Sir, so that why in the first place we have created capital in Dehradun? Because the purpose of making this state is to develop the hilly areas. So Dehradun is not a hilly area, according to me. Why is there capital? Sir, maybe in the earlier times Dehradun was also not too much developed. So, sir, to equally develop both of the places, I think both summer capital and winter capital is. Is there any purpose in future that uh, Garrison will be the full time capital and Dehradun will not be the capital in future? Is there any plan according to government? Sir, I. Or do. we should maintain only two capitals? Sir, I think we should maintain two capitals. Okay. Okay, Jigyasa, can you please tell me the difference between conduction and convection? These two terms. Uh, I got very confused between these two terms. Can you please tell me what is the difference between conduction and convection? Sir, um, what I know about conduction is that the uh, molecules mm -hmm. they uh, like they collide with each other, mm -hmm. and uh, by that conduction works. The one example would be if you hold an iron rod, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like in a burning stove or something, you will it uh, from one corner. And you will start feeling the heat uh, coming to your hand too. And sir, convection uh, is. Um, okay, give me an example of heating in which convection is a process in which the heating up going on. Sir, I think in the heaters that we use in winter. In winter, we use heater and the heat we got through convection. Yes, sir. Then what is radiation? Yes, sir. That is radiation. I'm sorry, sir. Then convection means sir, I something don't know. else. Yes. Sir. One more question. Can you please tell me what is the difference between season and climate? Sir, season is something that uh, like comes in a year, mm -hmm. and it is a cycle that repeats every year. Mm -hmm. And sir, climate would be uh, the type of Conditions that are in a place. So, is season is a longer phenomena or a climate is a longer phenomena? Sir, climate is a longer. Phenomena. Climate is a longer phenomena. Okay, thank you, Jigyasa. Over to Suresh sir.
Okay, Jika sir, I just want to ask you uh, one more question. As you have mentioned that you want to join army, so can you tell me what is the function of army? Sir, the function of army is to protect the uh, borders of our country and uh, to fight on foot. Okay, very good. And uh, what is what is its function during peace time? Sir, the function of army during peace time is to prepare for the worst case scenarios and uh, to keep their training going on. Okay. That's all. Thank you so much for giving this wonderful interview. Thank you, sir. All the best. Hope to see you soon in Alliance. Thank you, sir.